So number three then from paper two of the 2023 advanced tire. What have we got? Three mark question for a three by three matrix here. You've got this square matrix. Find a simplified expression for the determinant of A, however we wish to write that down. Well, you'll probably just use the top line, although you could use any line you like. Using the top line then, you would have the two multiplying its minor, which would be negative one, zero, zero, negative two, minus, don't forget the sign, two X multiplying its minor, the determinant of the remaining two by two matrix, X, 0, 1, negative 2, plus 4 times its minor, the determinant of this little matrix, x, negative 1, 1, 0. Now it's just a case of working that out. So we'll just do it in one go. What does this come to? You've got mid diagonal product minus the opposite. So you've got 2, take away 0 is 2, minus 2x multiplying. Negative 2x minus 0, negative 2x. 4 times 0, take away negative 1, so it'll be plus one. Where was I? So there you've got a four plus a four x squared plus a four. So it comes to four x squared plus eight. That was the same part B for one mark. Hence, determine whether the inverse exists for all values of X. Well, that determinant. The determinant of A equaling 4X squared plus 8 can never equal 0. Since X squared is always greater than or equal to 0, that means that 4, oh, 4X four squared plus 8 must be greater than or equal to 8, so it can never equal 0. I don't know much explanation you need to put down. But as long as the determinant isn't equal to 0, that means that the inverse matrix will exist. Because one of the things you do to get the inverse matrix is divide by the determinant. So if that's 0, you're scuppered. But if it's not 0, that's fine. Sit. So number four, another four marks here for calculate the gradient of the tangents. Just the gradient, you want the value of the derivative for this equation at the point zero, zero. So even all the x's and y's will disappear in the final answer. Well, it's all jumbled up. So it's going to be implicit differentiation, remembering that y is a function of x. So you've got to be general there. So product, that'll be 2x times the y squared. And then x squared times, now differentiating that, so that's a function of a function, so it'll be 2y times the inner derivative, which is dy by dx, minus, and that's just straightforwardly, 2 dy by dx. Will equal, sign will go to cos of 3x multiplied by a 3. Right, now we extract this part. So the terms that involve dy by dx, I've got a 2x squared y and a minus 2 that's the number of dy by dx's I've got, everything of the other side. 3 cos 3x, and I don't want this bit, minus 2xy squared. And then finally, dy by dx will be, just take that across and divide. 3 cos 3x minus 2xy squared over loads of x's and y's, but they're all going to go, minus 2. Now, that's the gradient then, so... At the point zero, 0, that means that the gradient, which is what that is, will be, you just fill them all full of zeros now. So it'll be 3 cos 0 minus 0 over 0. But there's a minus 2. Now the cos of 0 is 1. So that means the gradient's going to be, I'll put the working down, 3 times 1 over negative 2. So the gradient's negative 3 upon 2.